Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope December is treating you well so far. In today's video I wanted to share with you the fun I've had experimenting with fluid acrylic painting or paint pouring. Since this was my first attempt I don't have a lot to say about technique, paint mixtures and ratios as it honestly was all trial and error but I will have info on everything I used in the description below. It was definitely a learning curve but I started to see an improvement towards the end. So for the first one my paint mixture was a bit too thick and then I went much too thin for the next one so it blended and muddied into a grey mess. After that it still took a couple of tries to get a consistency that I was happy with but moving forward I at least know now what I'm aiming for. There are loads of different ways to get the paint onto the canvas and I decided to start out just straight pouring it since anything else seemed a bit too ambitious but for the last couple of attempts I did try the flip cup technique and I wish I had started with that as it really gave the most interesting effect I think. Now as you've probably gathered this is all a little bit out of my comfort zone for a number of reasons. I'm quite controlling when it comes to art and mess, I like to plan things and have a vision for how it'll turn out. I like to research and reference and I also love a quick clean up once I'm done. But I've also had a long, stressful and not so creative month during which I found moments of calm in newly discovered paint pouring videos. I watched in total awe and amazement, soothed by the flow of the paint and the freedom of it and the constant experiment of the artist behind them. It's impossible to watch these videos and not think I have to try that, but all month I talked myself out of it. I was trying to find a reason to make it worth my while. When art becomes your job, the line becomes blurred between creating as a task and creating just for fun. And when I thought about making these types of paintings, honestly my first thought was, but then what do I do with them? Where do they fit in? Do they reflect my style? Can I incorporate this into my existing works? How do I make it benefit me to make up for the time and the money that I'll spend making them? And I had this thought on and off for weeks. Every time I considered trying it out, I convinced myself it wouldn't be worth it. Until I finally remembered, I don't just make art to sell it, which sounds so simple. You know, I don't make art to have something to add to my portfolio. I make art because I love making art. I love to play with paint. I love to play with color. Just to try things and see what happens. Art is my job but it is also my hobby and I don't always need a reason to do a certain thing. If I want to do it, I should just do it. So I guess what I'm saying today, because I feel like this is something that all of us, even if we aren't full-time artists, we all have moments where we convince ourselves that just trying something won't be worth our while. It'll be a waste of time, a waste of good supplies, and the whole point of being creative, creating as an act in itself, never can and never will be a waste. You learn and you express yourself and in the end, there's a thing there that didn't exist before. Whether it's a mess or not, whether it turned out how you expected, you made a thing. So that's all I've got for today, thank you so much for joining me. If there's anything you've been overthinking, something that you've wanted to give a try, maybe you make some time to do it this weekend and let me know how it goes. I'll speak to you soon, bye.